So I'd like to think about um, the things I learned from the um, from the transfer, the um, translation of the KTP Digital Lit Leicester project into the PhD, into Lucy's PhD. The first was that much of that work was built on much of the kind of work that led to the PhD um, emerged from long-standing relationships between Leicester City Council and um, the schools, secondary schools, but also between De Montfort University and specific individuals inside DMU and, the, and Leicester City Council. Um, so Lucy's, the, the move towards Lucy's PhD really was, was rooted or grounded in quite a long history of, um, of relationships around education, the use of educational technology and digital technology in particular, continuing professional development and also issues around professionalism and professional identity um, in and through the city. Um, what that, I think, then enabled was, for one, the, the schools in the city to take ownership of um, the outcomes and the outputs of Digilit Leicester and to repurpose them into a new, a new set of networks, an open education network and an open educational resources network that could be self-governed and self-directed. The second, I think, was that it gave, um, I think it gave both Lucy and I, working with um, two new supervisors, the ability to rethink how we'd um, applied the frameworks through a new research methodology, so applying grounded theory um, to get a richer understanding of educators' voices. And I think that this gave um, us, it certainly gave me more confidence in extending the scope of the of the project um, and to thinking about um, how the voice of educators in Leicester might then be generalised beyond that. And I think that the for me then the, the critical areas in which the PhD has extended the projects are through the theoretical novelty of the literature review that's been extended now. Um, the, I guess, a... Uh, implementing a, a new and, and potentially interesting methodology and methodological approach in terms of uncovering a new theoretical perspective for educators' voices um, and educators' perceptions of their own professionalism. It's certainly generated new data, which I think is fundamental as well for PhD study. Um, and finally, it's going to generate, already generating, but it's going to generate key recommendations for both practice and policy, which I think will be important at an individual level, at a school level, but also in terms of professional bodies and um, in terms of local authorities.